So welcome to part one of solving the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. I just want to say congratulations if you have solved the 3x3 cube. Uh, if you have not solved the 3x3 cube, I highly suggest that you learn how to do that first because the 4x4 cube is significantly uh, more difficult. And one of the reasons why the 4x4 cube is so much harder than the 3x3 is because of the centerpieces. Uh, let's take a look at the centerpiece of this 3x3 cube. Uh, notice how this side has a white center, and it is fixed. It's never going to move. It's just one piece, and it uh, doesn't matter which side of the cube that you move, that white centerpiece is going to stay in the same position. Okay? It doesn't matter which side that you move. Notice how this white center is fixed. It is not moving. It's in the same position. Um, now let's take a look at this 4x4 cube. Um, notice how we also have the white center on this side of the cube. And if we move the outer edges of the cube, notice how our center is fixed. It's not moving. However, if we move an inner layer of the 4x4 cube, we lose our center. Okay? Look at that. We just moved our inner, this inner layer of the cube, and we lost our white centerpiece. Okay? Um, so... That brings us to our first step in solving the 4x4 cube, is you need to solve for all the centers of the cube. So this will make a lot more sense once we get started solving it. Um, so let's just get started right away and scramble this thing up. Okay, so now our cube is completely scrambled, and we are going to solve for all the centers of this 4x4 Rubik's Cube. And I always solve the white center first. It doesn't matter which one uh, you do. I always pick white. Um, so I'm going to say that this side, or this center of the 4x4 cube is the white center of the cube. All right, so we have one centerpiece that's already in place. Um, so now I'm going to bring this white centerpiece to the white side of the cube. So I'm just going to rotate the right inner layer up to the white side of the cube. All right, so now let's look for another white centerpiece. All right, so here we have another white centerpiece, and we need to bring this to the white side of the cube. So what you want to do is you want to rotate this white side so that the two pieces that we have already form a vertical line directly above the piece that we're going for. All right. So now notice how our two pieces form a vertical line directly above the piece that we're going for. Um, so now I'm going to bring this center piece to the white side of the cube. But notice when I bring, bring it up, I'm going to lose the two pieces that we placed there from before. All right, so now I brought this to the white, white side of the cube, and, but we lost a two-piece from before, and they're on the right side. So I'm going to bring this to the left side of the cube. So now this is on the left side of the cube, and now I can bring the right side back. And now we haven't lost the two pieces that we placed before. All right, so now let's look for the last white centerpiece. Okay, um, here it is right here. And whenever you have an L shape, um, you want to place the corner of the L in the same position where the piece we're going for. So this piece is in the bottom right of this center. It's in the bottom right of the center. So we want to place the corner of this L also in the bottom right. All right? Notice how the corner of the L is in the bottom right. Our piece that we're going for is also in the bottom right. Um, so the, the same idea that we, uh, that we did before, we're going to use again. When we bring this to the white side of the cube, we're going to lose these two centerpieces. Okay? So I'm going to bring this to the white, white side of the cube. Okay? And we need to bring those pieces that we lost back. So now I need to, br I need to put these on the left side of the cube to do that. So I'm going to bring, rotate this so both these white centerpieces are on the left side of the cube. And now I can bring the right side back. All right, so now we have completely solved the white center or the white side or the white center of the cube. So now we need to go for the opposite side of white, which is always yellow for a standard Rubik's cube. I'll show you on the 
3 by 3. Here's the white side. The opposite side is always yellow. So we know that this side, or this center of the cube, is going to be the yellow center. Um, we already have one yellow, piece, yellow center piece that's already in place, so let's look for some more. All right, so here we have a yellow center piece. I'm going to place it directly below the piece that's already on the yellow side. I'm going to bring it to the yellow side of the cube. We lost the, the piece that was already correctly placed, so we need to bring this to the right side so we can bring the left side back, and now we haven't lost this piece that was placed there before. All right, so now let's look for the other yellow pieces. Here we go. All right, so now I'm going to bring this piece to the yellow side of the cube. Um, just like before, you want to place the, the, two, the two pieces in a vertical line directly above the piece that we're going for. So it's already done for us. Notice how these two yellow pieces are in a vertical line directly above the piece that we're going for. All right, so now I'm going to bring this center piece to the yellow side of the cube. We lost the two pieces on the right side, so we got to bring this to the left. And now we can bring the right side back, and we didn't lose these two yellow pieces. Um, so you get the idea, I think, by now. Uh, once again, we have an L on the yellow side of the cube, so you want to place the corner of the L in the same position as our yellow piece that we're going for. Um, so since this yellow piece is in the bottom left corner of the center, we want to place the corner of the L also in the bottom left corner. All right. So now we're going to bring this yellow center piece to the yellow side of the cube. So I'm going to bring the left side, left inner layer up. We lost the, the left side, so we need to bring these two to the right. And now we can bring the left side back. And we haven't left, and we haven't lost these two yellow pieces. So now we have completely solved our yellow side of the cube. Um, we haven't messed up our white side of the cube which we already solved for before. Um, so now let's solve for our third side. Um, this side already has two blue pieces, so I'm just going to call this the blue side of the cube. Alright, um, so once again, the the two pieces that are already correctly placed need, need to form a vertical line directly above the piece that we're going for. So we're going to go for this piece and place it on the blue side of the cube. All right, and so I'm going to bring this piece to the blue side of the cube. I'm going to lose these two pieces when I do that. So I need to bring this to the right side so I can bring the left side back. Now I can bring the left side back, and I didn't lose these two blue pieces, and we still have this piece on the blue side. All right, so... Same idea as before, now we have an L. Okay, you want to place the corner of the L in the same position as our last, our, our blue piece that we're going for. Uh, so since this is in the top right corner of the center, I'm going to place this L, the corner of this L in the top right corner. Now the corner of the L is in the top right cent corner of the center. Um, so I'm going to bring this blue center piece to the blue side of the cube. I lost the two blue on the right side, so I'm going to bring these two to the left. Now I can now I can bring the right side back, and now we haven't lost these two blue center pieces. All right, so now we have the blue center solved for, we have the yellow center solved for, we have the white center solved for. All right, um, so now we got to solve for our fourth center, and it's really important that you know which color the side is supposed to be. Um, so I like to use a, a white corner piece to tell, to tell me which color that the side is supposed to be. So let's, uh, let's just use this white corner piece right here. Okay. 
we know that this side, from this corner piece, we know that this side has to be white. We know that this side has to be blue. And from this corner piece, we know that this side has to be orange. So this center has to be orange. So we have one orange piece that is correctly placed already, and we need to get the remaining three orange center pieces. All right, so I'm going to bring this orange centerpiece to the orange side of the cube by rotating the left inner layer. Now the orange piece that we lost we need to bring back, so I'm going to bring this to the right side of the cube. And now we can bring the left inner layer back, and we haven't lost this piece now. Now we have two orange centerpieces. All right, so let's look for the other orange center pieces. Okay, um, they're on the opposite side of the of the orange. Here's our orange side of the cube, and the two that we need are on the opposite side. Um, so what you want to do is the same idea. I'm going to rotate. I'm going to bring this to the orange side of the cube. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. But now we lost this uh, the orange piece that was here before. So we need, I'm going to bring these two orange pieces to the right side of the cube. And now I can bring the left inner layer back the way it was before. And now we haven't lost this yellow, uh, or, or sorry, orange centerpiece. Um, and we only need one more. So now we have an L. And our last orange centerpiece is on the opposite side of the cube again. What you want to do is you want to place when you have an L, and the other and the other <clears throat> centerpiece is on the opposite side. You want to place it directly below the corner. All right. So here is the corner of the L, and this is actually already di placed directly below. So it's already done for us. So we're gonna we're gonna bring this orange centerpiece to the orange side of the cube. Actually, sorry, it wasn't directly below the L. Now it, now it is. So once again, I'm going to bring, now it's directly below the L, and I'm going to bring this to the orange side of the cube. Okay? So I just screwed up the right inner layer, so I need to bring the right inner layer back. So I'm going to place these two orange center pieces on the left side of the cube and now I can bring the right inner layer back and now we have solved our orange center of the cube so now we have our orange, we have our blue, we have our white we have our yellow um, the opposite of orange is always red so we know that this side has to be the red side of the cube alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring uh, these two red pieces to the red side of the cube. Um, whenever you have two pieces that are in a line together, you want to make them vertical. You want to place them vertically, directly below the the red pieces that are already in place. So, just like this, notice how these red pieces, which are already in place, are vertically directly above the two pieces that we're going for. All right, so I'm going to bring these two red centers to the red side of the cube. Now I just screwed up the left inner layer, so I need to bring the left inner layer back. So I'm going to rotate these two pieces to the right side. And now I can bring the left inner layer back. And now we have completely solved every center of this cube. We have the orange center, yellow center, red, white, green, and blue. So now that we have solved all of our centers of the cube, in my next video I will teach you how to match all of your edge pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and until my next video, I will see you later.